Hey Cardinals fans and welcome to Cardinals Game Day, your home for UIW football previews, news and reviews. My name is Rory Dew. And my name is Chris Reyes. Well Rory, we're past the bye week and the home stretch of the season. The Cardinals were on the road two weeks ago but couldn't get the result they wanted. Falling to Northwestern State, 49-12. There are four games to go and the Cardinals will be hoping to add a couple more W's to their record before the season is done. They sure will. The trip to Northwestern State definitely didn't pan out the way that the Cardinals were expecting, but it did see a couple of players stand up and show what they can offer the team, particularly on the offensive side of the ball. The biggest plus was quarterback Jordan Selfo. He hasn't really had an opportunity to lead the offense before, but boy did he seize his chance when it came. Selfo took the field and drove the offense to the end zone with relative ease, throwing the Cardinals' only touchdown of the game. He went 3 of 3 passing and threw for 62 yards and looked very, very impressive on the 6 play 95 yard drive. So much so that the projected roster has him starting this week against the McNeese State Cowboys in the homecoming game. Junior Sessions managed another respectable game on the ground, rushing 14 times for 66 yards, which is an average of 4.7 yards per carry. Although he was not very productive for the first part of the season, he has been in good form recently and we'll be looking for him to have another big game against the McNeese State Cowboys. Notable receivers included Casey Jennings, who made four receptions for 64 yards, John Oglesby, who hauled in three passes for 29 yards, and Gabriel Taylor, who made his third career reception for 23 yards and his second career TD. In special teams, Ramon Cotto Jr. punted well, kicking the ball six times for a total of 294 yards with a long of 60 yards. The Northwestern State Demons offense on a, had a very good day. They're led by quarterback Zad Aikens, who went 15 for 21 passing for 159 yards and four touchdowns. The receiving leader was Ed Egan, who made five receptions for 84 yards and one touchdown. And running back Garrett Atzenweiler was powerful on the ground for the Demons, rushing 12 times for 146 yards and a TD. But looking ahead to this week's game against number 11 McNeese State, it has the makings of a very tough game for the Cardinals. The Cowboys' offense averages 38.5 points per game and 450 yards of total offense, and they currently have a 2-1 conference record. Yeah, they are definitely a solid team. Their most recent game saw them defeat Abilene Christian 31-20 after a tough loss, 38-22, to Sam Houston State the week before. The Cowboys often splits times between two different quarterbacks. Daniel Sams is a mobile quarterback who averages 7.8 yards a carry, 578 total yards excuse me, rushing on the season. Passing wise, he has thrown for 506 yards and seven touchdowns this season so far. The other quarterback, Taylor Bolfing, has 493 passing yards and three touchdowns on the season. Their leading receivers are Ernest Celeste and Jerion McGilvery, who are tied on 179 yards receiving uh, so far this season. Defensively, they've been holding their opponents to an average of 20 points per game and are led by Brent Spikes, who has 43 tackles on the season. So, Roy, what are the keys this week for the Cardinals to hopefully pull out a victory? Ball security is the major one. Uh, we look at the game against Northwestern State and we saw a team that uh, threw two interceptions and lost the ball twice on fumbles. And they were also not very good at converting on third down. And a team like McNeese State is going to be just like Northwestern State. If you can't move the football and you can't hold on to the football, they're going to make you pay for it. Um, we've seen a revitalization, so to speak, of our running game through junior sessions in the last few weeks. And I think the inclusion of Jordan Selfer, who was our passing leader, on he, he had one drive against Northwestern State, and he was our passing leader on the day. So I think he brings a dynamic to the team. Um, I think he probably has the best mechanics out of all the QBs on the roster, and he makes really, really good football decisions. I think it's his height primarily that has held him back in the past. But as we saw, you put him in a situation where he has an opportunity to, to change the game, and he went ahead and he did that. And I think um, given the opportunity to start this week, we could see some really good things come from Jordan Selfer. So there is an opportunity for our offense, but our offense is going to have to play a lot better than they did last game. Especially uh, McNeese State Cowboys are the number one ranked defense in the Southland Conference. So it's going to be an uphill battle for them. However, Halloween around the corner, some spooky things might happen to the number 11 team in the nation in the FCS. So watch out for those Cardinals maybe pull the upset at home for homecoming. Yeah, and as we were saying, I think uh, currently 1-6, Coming towards the end of the season, it's now or never for the for the Cardinals if they want to make a uh, a respectable end to the season. Uh, hasn't been going the way that, that they would have wanted it. Had some injuries, had a couple of uh, of games that were probably more blowouts than they would have expected. But they got four games left, and they can really finish the season on a good note if they want to. Maybe get a special teams touchdown. Hey, it looks like it's been coming for a few weeks, right? 
Well, Cardinals fans, that's all we have time for this week on Cardinals Game Day. Be sure to get down to the game 6 p.m. Saturday for homecoming. Remember, admission is free with a student ID. And also, be sure to support the men's and women's soccer teams and men's and women's swimming and diving teams who are also competing on campus over the weekend. Until next week, my name is Rory Deer. And my name is Chris Reyes. See you at the game on Saturday, and let's go Cardinals.